This hormone has been discovered about 45 years ago by two uh, different groups, one from uh, US and one from uh, 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 Denmark, um, the Westermark uh, group. So it has been discovered by um, isolating it from the pancreatic amyloid. So individuals that have type 2 diabetes, almost 95% of them, they show amylin amyloid in the pancreas. And this is a pathology that is seen uh, in almost all individuals that have type 2 diabetes. So if some individuals that are uh, developing type 2 diabetes at an early stage, um, the amylin form aggregates that instead of being secreted as a monomer in the circulation, it's secreted as an aggregated form, it starts accumulating in the brain vasculature. And therefore, individuals that have to type uh, type 2 diabetes are at higher risk for developing dementia just because, among other things, amylin is depositing in the microvasculature. Right. So therefore, there is this direct link between the uh, amylin pathology in the pancreas and dysfunction and pathology in the brain in humans that have type 2 diabetes. But one important thing is that uh, in type 2 diabetes, the beta cell mass is decreased and therefore uh, the, those individuals have less insulin and this is why they develop type 2 diabetes. So therefore, most likely the pathological form of amylin occurs in early stage in the so-called hyperinsulinemia, hyperamylinemia stage because these two hormones are synthesized and co-secreted. So that higher risk starts in fact in prediabetes.